Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be getting a tiny little bit OP. I mean, I, I am in some really fancy armor right now, so let's go ahead and get all the moddy yum, yum, yum. Anyways, I hope you guys are ready. So today I think it's time for us to kick it into gear. I think we're going to need to uh, jump into some all the moddy yum armor and uh, go get ourselves an elytra, maybe fight the dragon as well again today so hopefully we can uh, or at least fight the dragon until we get a uh enough uh elytra copies um to sustain us for a little while because i want to get that creative um wireless transmitter like i want to see what that thing does so i'm super excited for that also getting an elytra is pretty cool because um there's some cool things we can do with it so to do that we're gonna need to go to the end um and of course take on the end again but before we do that i think it's time to dabble a little bit with the all the moddy I'm here. Um, so I do have enough here to make, you know, roughly 16 or 18 chunks here. And what I can do with this is, of course, triple this. Um, we should have the ability to easily triple our ores here. So let's head over in here and we're going to toss this in here. Let's go ahead and remove. Actually, let me just throw it in here because that'll be the next in the list. Should be anyways, as soon as all of this is done, and then we'll have uh, triple the amount here. So what my plan is, is I should be able to have enough to make a full set of armor and potentially a sword, unless the sword has been removed. Let's see. Is all the modium still a sword? In Tinker's Construct it is. Okay. Um, so we might actually be going to a couple of dimensions today. If we're going to go for the all the modium sword... Um, if I remember correctly, to melt that down into a, a, a component, we're going to need some of that soul lava. So there's a couple different ways of getting that, but I think going to another dimension, that's going to be something worth going for. So once we get enough all the mod, all the modium done, uh, I'm going to show you guys this new dimension. So if you remember, we do have a spawner that uh, has some blaze in it. So let's take a look at this. Um, this is one one way we can do this. I believe we have an apotheosis spawner. Oh no, it's actually in a box, isn't it? Yes, it's still in the cardboard box. Okay. So we have a blaze and I was looking at the all the modium here. Um, and I found that instead of going to this dimension, cause I wanted to save this for after we have this gear set up. I, I do want to go to the other dimension. That's what it's called. Um, where you can interact with dragons and stuff. That's where the ice and fire stuff's at. I don't want to get into that today. I think maybe next episode we might dabble with that after we do the dragon stuff. I want a lighter before we do this. Um, so I've seen that we can actually get into the Tinker's Construct stuff without needing to do that, which is nice. So that must have been a recipe change that happened. Uh, because to be able to get the all the modium here, uh, it's actually not too bad. We can actually melt it down, it looks like, with just regular uh, lava or actually... So the block of it can be done with regular lava. The ingot itself cannot. The dust, however, can. That may be an oversight. I still want to try this. I want to see if I can get a hold of Molten Blaze. Now, it shows to put a blaze in here with lava, and that will generate Molten Blaze, right, for one blaze. So I, I want to see how that works. <laughs> Because Molten Blaze is something we can apparently get. Um, so I don't know if like this needs a bunch of lava. Let's take a look at the... Um, let's grab some bucket. Actually, we have lava in a uh, mechanism tank, I think. Let's see, I thought we had some lava in a tank. Unless it's in my inventory. Yeah, we have some... Yeah, we have some bucket lava. Perfect. So I can fill this up. Also, I think I can... Click on here, and that puts lava in there, as you can see. It didn't put a whole bunch. How does that uh, How does that work? Okay, one more maybe. So now it has one full bucket worth, which is, I think, is what it needs. Um, I'm just going to get some slabs, because I'm going to slab the top of this ever so slightly, because we're going to need uh, to get some blazes in here. And I need them to stay in here. <laughs> And actually, uh, just at, and, and just stay. Um, so, getting blazes, that's going to be another another thing in itself. I need them to start spawning. And I don't need to die myself. So, 
Let's place this way out here and try not to catch our stuff on fire. And let's get a lever and a mob imprisonment tool. And we'll just see what this is like. We'll see how this uh, how this goes. Right? We'll get, get them to spawn in and then we'll cover this up. Hopefully they don't uh, go too crazy. <laughs> I'm still not fireproof, even though I, I probably could make some reliquary stuff that would prevent these guys from hitting me. But still. I'm gonna see if I can get them to spawn. So I finally got some of them to spawn. <laughs> Let me head over here. Oh goodness. And let's see what happens if we put them in there. Okay. Ooh. It's actually every like death tick is filling up. Interesting. And so 200 millibuckets is what it actually generates. All right, can I click on you without the other one shooting me? Okay, there we go. So yeah, if we can get an entire bucket of this, it'd be pretty interesting. I did see there's also a recipe where you have to get a wither in here. That's a whole other thing in itself. We're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna get a wither in there. Oh boy. So now that I have one bucket here, I should be able to place a seared tank, hopefully, down here. And then I guess I can go ahead and just use this faucet. Like that there, make sure this is on the bottom and then send that into the tank. And then we just replace this out. I think that's how we're going about to, that's how we're about to do this. Okay, so this has the liquid blaze in it. All right, let's check this out. It's in there. Now all I gotta do is get all the modium, even though of course I did see there was easier ways to do this. I put one of these in here. And that's going to cook. I just don't know how much this takes of this liquid in order to cook. Well, actually, we can probably get two in there. <gasps> That'll be good because we can make a sword blade with it and upgrade our sword blade here. Hopefully, we can upgrade our sword blade. So let's go ahead and get our blade cast. And we're going to swap our blades out. If it'll let us swap the blades out, I hope it does. We'll try. <laughs> It's worth a shot, right? All the modium, two ingots is all it takes. Um, I'll put my sword in here and we'll swap this blade out. Should be a pretty epic blade. All the modium, wow. And look at that, it can be swapped out. And look at that attack damage. Wow, and the durability upgrade. Oh wow, we're so, we got slowness, which is crazy. It gives you like, Super heavy. Okay. What's giving me the heavy? Is it is the sword blade itself? That's an interesting trait. I mean, it, it doesn't really affect us too much when we're... Uh... Oh, no. Maybe that's like the, the thing, right? The thing that it does? Let's see. Tinkers. Sword. And what is all the modium? Yeah, it gives you that maximum heavy. But man, it does so much damage, like, I don't even care. Like, we can just use our jetpack. Oh man, this sword though, still is gonna pack a powerful punch. Definitely against the dragon. Oh boy, our our base is burning. Um. Oh god, oh no. Hey, hey, don't, don't do this. No, no. Wait, why do I have this sword? I'm just literally wasting it. Oh, now I've got to rebuild this whole thing. Where's a fire extinguisher? Is there is there not a fire extinguisher? Watering can. <laughs> doesn't the watering can put fires out? It doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I hope. Okay, our tree's burning down. Okay, I think we've I think we've about got it caught up. I just yeah, I shouldn't mess with blazes. That's a mess. So after getting that sword and our, our base almost burning down, I think it's time for us to go ahead and make some of this incredibly powerful all the modium armor. Now, um, it does have some perks, at least it shows. The boots, however, like the boots on it on its own, piglins become neutral. Very interesting. And then uh, the boot, or the pants, piglins become neutral. I believe they're for the whole set. It uh, Every piece has like some different perks. This one's immune to damage sources 
using uh, fire slash lava. Um, immune to all damage sources using fire and lava. Um, and then the helmet is like water breathing. And it says no crash damage while flying with an elytra. And also piglins become neutral. Pretty crazy. And we just got the, uh, the advancement, all the armor. If we throw this on and also take off our cosmetic here, we are now covered in all the modium armor. Now, it still needs enchanted. Like it is a good, it's good armor right now, but it still needs some nice protection enchants. And also our chest piece here, we're still, still gonna be lacking our chest piece. So I have to still do this um, to keep this jetpack until we fight the dragon. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna need my jetpack once we go to fight the dragon, it all depends. Um, eventually we'll be able to use our elytra and have a slot for our elytra on our back here and we can actually have our armor on, which I'm super excited. Also, we could potentially upgrade our elytra and get some more armor damage or more protection as well. So let's grab some lapis and I'm gonna get to enchanting because I have a whole bunch of enchanting to do. My goal is to at least get protection on all of these pieces. Like that's my goal. Not projectile protection, just regular old project, uh, just regular old protection. It's all I want. It's all I want. If I can even enchant this, what is this? Oh, I have the uh, experience glitch again. Oh goodness. So I'm all protected up and I'm looking pretty snazzy. I'm, I mean, I can't complain. I am pretty powerful right now or at least i feel powerful i don't know we'll find out when we go to fight stuff um like if we go to fight like an enderman and we notice we're not really taking any damage when we fight him we definitely know that we're we're setting pretty good um so i should be able to go to the end i do have the storage bag from cyclic which i i absolutely love um i noticed though like the there's still all the the options to like auto pick up and stuff um but i do miss the color options i don't know if lothazar is going to get around to adding the colors back but anyways let's test this out I'm, I'm not taking damage. I mean, I'm taking durability, but... <sighs> yep, it's good to feel powerful again. Boom. Look at that. You can't beat that. Now, this sword um, doesn't have looting or anything special on it like that. It does have some other stuff, but it's, it is missing out on looting. That is one thing I can definitely say it's missing out on. Now, before we get too far, um, I do need to grab something from our base that I almost forgot about. Um, let's go back home. I need Waystone. I need the Warp Stone to keep in my inventory. That way I can just head back home whenever we're done messing around. So I don't have to go back through these portals. These portals can be kind of uh, weird if we, yeah, if I don't build a platform. Yeah, it's, it, here, let me, there we go. I don't even know. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't even know if that was going to work. Um, but yeah, we need to find ourselves an end city, which shouldn't be too hard. Even with an iron jetpack. Notice, I mean, we go incredibly fast. So finding something while hovering with infinite power, basically, isn't going to be too bad on us, I don't think. So I've been flying around for what seems to be quite a while. And after that, I just decided I'm going to run the slash locate command to find out if in cities even spawn in this, because I'm noticing that also the um, the coarse fruit and stuff and coarse flowers aren't spawning either. So maybe they just don't spawn. And I know there's a mod in here that um, has been having a couple of issues. I don't know if that this is intentional or not. It's kind of hard for me to know without asking. Um, but I do know there's a recipe that I could be using to also make an elytra. So we might do that. I was gonna fight the dragon anyways, but yeah, I didn't, I haven't come across any uh, in cities, which is kind of interesting, but it's not a, it's not a, a make or break anything. Like honestly, I'd prefer to just kill the dragon instead of finding an in city. So all I have to do is head back home um, and uh, let's give this a try. So I need to spawn in the dragon. All right, so to do that, we need end crystals so to make in crystals super super simple we just need four of them and uh after killing a spawned in dragon we should finally get this thing um where is it it's right in the beginning i believe right here we should get this item the dragon scale um and as you can see right here okay so it de definitely tells you um 
which is the goal of the progression. So I'm assuming that that's probably the goal of the progression is to make yourself an elytra. Um, so let's head back. Let's 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 do this. Like this dragon has is has no chance, no chance. I bet we can kill him in first face, easily kill him first face. What do you guys think? I think we can actually go around and hand punch out all of the areas, like all of the uh, crystals that, that spawn. I bet we can kill them first face. That's what I'm hoping anyways. All right, I got to let all these spawn in and then our dragon should hopefully be here. So dragon is respawned. Let's go ahead and do this. Look at that. I barely take any damage at all from the blasts. Wow. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> How interesting is that? Right? That I can just I can just punch it. I do take some damage, which kind of, you know, shows, you know, how much damage we're actually taking, which is just not much at all. Like we regain our health so quickly. It's not even it's not even like it's it's not even funny. All right. So, let's see if this guy will is going to land or I'm going to be chasing him around. I'm going to just sit here and wait for him to land and we're going to we're going to one phase him 100% first phase this dragon all right here we go it's dropping down let's see if we can't one phase the dragon take him out oh my wow okay wait dude you didn't give me any time to one phase you that's not fair that's not fair he immediately just up and ran does he have like a damage cap or something no way there's like a damage cap before he moves on I guess there is. Like, is he already coming back to land again? I mean, I would too. Like, his dude, that was totally cheap of you. And get wrecked. And I'm going to have to do this a uh, couple more times because, uh, yeah, as you can see, that just dropped there. I just picked it up. And as you can see, the dragon or the drag on the elytra. Oh, goodness. Yep. So we just got another scale, got ourselves an ex uh, a shader grab bag, which uh, was kind of nice. The last one I got was actually an N7 one, which is kind of a, a nice one to get. But I do need to spawn this guy again because I want an elytra, but I also want one for several different things. I want to be able to make one and also use it for that creative um, receiver or, or yeah, creative wireless uh, transmitter. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and kill it two more times to two more. As you can see how fast that was, it's not going to be that big of a deal to do that. And then we are going to uh, get started with some of these other cool things we can do with the Elytra. So after taking down the dragon two more times, we can now make ourselves an Elytra. Um, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy going. At this point, you should have plenty of phantom membranes. Yeah, you're going. Yeah, unless you've done something where you just haven't fought any of them, um, then yeah, you should have some uh, now. Instead of using up phantom membranes, we should be able to duplicate them by doing this. And so we can actually get another elytra out of that. So now we have two of them, right? Um, really, I only need one regular elytra for right now. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make a third one just to call it, you know, just to have that extra one on the side. Of course, I can always fight the dragon again. We'll keep one to the side. I'm going to need to turn one here into this um, because I want to actually make a custom elytra. So that is going to consume one of them. And now I can make any elytra I want as far as as far as um, like just having and one to use goes. Um, now, this is where the fun starts to uh, to happen. Let's see. Um, do I have enough nether stars? I have three. So I'm going to have to fight another wither, um, which is not difficult at all to do. I just uh, I have to do that to make the um, let's see creative. I love how it's called a creative. But yeah, we're going to need to make this this bad boy creative wireless transmitter. I'm kind of excited. I hope this thing works cross dimensionally. My hopes are not very high that that's going to be the case, but it will be nice to have versus the like limited 48 block range. I think that the standard transmitter has. Yeah, it's uh, it's not the greatest in the world, but hey, it, it does work, but it's it's still not the greatest thing in the world. So I do want to test this out with you guys and like see how quickly we can kill this thing. I'm almost positive it's going to be incredibly fast. Also, do I want to make sure? I, I don't know if that I think that's fine being that tall. Just one block. 
should be. I mean, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. And, oh, he got out. Okay, so maybe it needs to be one taller. But look how quickly we killed it. Literally three shots, I think. Wow. Mm, I love it. So now, of course, the only thing to do is to make this bad boy. Oh boy, I'm... <laughs> Why are you cheating, bro? What it says. Does it even need range upgrades? I would assume that's probably a no. Infinite. Like, infinite as in... Like, infinite everywhere? Like... So if I go to the end... Oh! It is actually infinite. Like, actually, <laughs> legitimately infinite. Oh, I've wanted this from refined storage for so long. I'm glad this add-on exists. Oh, this just makes my day. Okay, so I'm taking a look here at this Elytra, and I noticed in Silent Gear, because I was taking a look at some of the stuff we had, and I'm also looking at a giant spreadsheet that somebody made on Reddit, and kind of gathering some information here, and... It mentions a little bit about this, but it doesn't mention these. So these are fine silk cloths. And um, it does look like leather is a really good material to use. Um, we can only use like um, wool, leather. There's a, there's only a few items. It does tell you like when you um, click on this item and show its uses, you can see it's only gonna be cloths or sheets. Now we can use membranes and there's these sheets here. I don't exactly know what the sheets are, unless they're like sheets of metal that is supposed to be an example sheet. Um, I don't know, but I'm thinking of making one specifically out of this fine cloth. Like, is that possible? How many materials do I need? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we only need six. I mean, if anything, we can we can make another elytra. Like, if this one's not good. We can make another one. So the synergy is 100 on this. It's got a repair efficiency of 100. Armor durability 18 times. Armor is 660. Net mine is 65%. I don't know what all that means, but it is a thing. <laughs> uh, does this actually like work as an elytra though? Like what is this? Or is it something that goes onto an elytra? Like, is that what this is? What does the P next to it mean? That's interesting. Okay, okay, so after digging a little bit, I did see that uh, we need this binding part that we also have to make, so, um... And I believe this makes out to be the uh, the full elytra, right? So I'll make a binding. It's gonna be this binding blueprint. And then honestly, you can just take the blueprint and make a fine silk binding. So we're gonna have a fine silk and there we go, a fine silk cloth elytra. So lucky, it has lucky, it has elytra flight, luck one. Um, stats, it's a tier two, whatever that means. I really don't know what a lot of this means as far as an elytra goes. So long as it, it works, and it does. So we are elytra flying technically right now. I don't have any rockets, but I do have my jetpack, which... Wow. You can go fast with this thing. Holy smokes. The jetpack? Definitely the way to go. Set this thing to, uh... Oh my. Oh my, we're going fast. Set this thing to hover mode, and you're, go you're golden. Whoa. Okay. What's the durability look like on it, though? That's... That's something I'm interested in, is like what the durability looks like. And, hey, I mean, it's got 500 durability. Now, um, can I just directly enchant this? Now, I know you can't normally directly enchant the elytra, but you can get like mending books and put that on there. This has enchantability. Oh. You can just directly <laughs> enchant it. Oh, that's nice. But it only looks... Okay, so this has Unbreaking and Tombstone Soulbound. But yeah, we can just make these Elytras, like, no problem. It, it takes literally nothing to make this Elytra. I mean, Soulbound's nice and all, but, like, 
Being able to roll a mending would be amazing, but I know that's probably going to only come from a villager. Like, multi-jump can go in this thing? Does that actually affect you? No way. Yeah, no. Yeah, the <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to use it anyways because of the jetpack. Let's see. No, 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 no. Multi-jump definitely is not affecting this. It's just a funny thing to have on here. Oh, this is so cool, though. Like, Unbreaking 3 is definitely... Like, I'll take Unbreaking 3 for right now until we can get a mending book, but... Um, or something else. Like, I'm sure there's other things we can use. But still, we have an elytra that we made with silent gear. And we can just make elytras. What? That just blows my mind. I don't know what, like, mixing things would do. Like, if I was to use wool or anything like that. I, I don't know. There's there's probably so many different combinations and then um, potential colors that this could potentially be set to. Like, luck adds luck when held. <laughs> this is not fortunate. Like, I mean, that's a, that's a thing that you get with it. <laughs> but I mean, nothing crazy. But the fact that we have an Elytra is pretty nice and is going to be super helpful when we go into that new other dimension next episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to go to the Gaming King. It's actually Cam the Gaming King. I can't just, I can't fit the whole name on a sign, unfortunately. But anyways, if you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, of course, you can find that link down in the description below. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh boy, where we're going to have a lot of fun in another dimension. And as always, thanks for watching.